So radioactive nuclei, sometimes called radioactive isotopes, can emit three types of radiation. We have alpha particles, which can be emitted from the nucleus. And an alpha particle is two protons with two neutrons. It's the same as a helium nucleus. And the symbol for alpha is alpha. We could spit out a high-speed electron, which is called a beta particle, given the symbol beta. A high-speed electron. And what actually happens in the nucleus is that a neutron decides to turn into a proton plus that high-speed electron. And that high-speed electron is then ejected from the nucleus. Or we could have gamma radiation being emitted. And gamma radiation is just a wave, an electromagnetic wave traveling at the speed of light. It doesn't change the nucleus at all apart from taking away a bit of energy. That's gamma rays or ga gamma radiation given the symbol gamma. We can describe these types of radioactive decay using radioactive decay equations. Let's take a look at alpha and beta for these decay equations. So first off, we have alpha decay. Now, in alpha decay, we lose an alpha particle. And an alpha particle has got four particles, two protons and two neutrons. So that means that we're going to lose four from the mass number. This is radium. So we're going to get 222 as the new element, the new nucleus. And this is a new element called radon. Well, we've also lost those two protons. So remember, the atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus. And that must decrease by 2. So that's going to be 86 now. The alpha particle can sometimes be written as a helium nucleus, because that's actually what an alpha particle is. It's got a, a 2 plus charge, because it hasn't got any electrons orbiting around it to balance the protons yet. So how many particles in a nucleus of a helium nucleus? Well, there are four. Two protons, two neutrons. And that's what an alpha particle is. It has two protons, so the atomic number is two. OK. Moving on to beta decay. Beta decay. Now polonium, polonium 218, polonium 218 has a mass number of 218. What happens in beta decay? Well, remember that a neutron in the nucleus goes, I don't want to be a neutron anymore. I want to be a proton and an electron. And that electron gets ejected from the nucleus. So the mass number, does that change? Well, no, because a neutron has just become a proton, a positively charged proton. They have the same mass. Electron has a very, very small mass, so we ignore that. So the mass number remains the same. But the atomic number, 84, does change because we've introduced a new proton into the nucleus. I know we've lost the neutron. That has become the proton, the extra proton. So that is now 85. And so we've changed the element. And this has become a new element called astatine. Astatine. The beta particle that is ejected is sometimes written as beta with a zero mass. It's got a very small mass, but we, we ignore it. And a minus 1 atomic number because it has a negative charge. Or you can write it as E for electron with zero mass and minus one in the same way. And that's a beta particle that's ejected. We can add these numbers up so that it makes sense. 84 is 85 plus minus one. And 218 is 218 plus zero. Hmm, that works. What about alpha? Well, 88 is 86 plus two. And 226 is 222 plus 4. So all the numbers should add up on each side of the equation, just like a math sum.